and introduce these two. So uh, in the upper right, taking game number two and putting the series at a level scoreline, we have Axiom Aces Heart. And the bottom left, we have our red Terran player from Root. It is Supernova. We did see Supernova playing in the SEG Improved Winter Series earlier today. He um, unfortunately dropped out in last place in the group, which is a little bit of a shame. But um, he played he played some fun games. He uh, played he played like an hour, it was an hour long mech game actually, fifty seven minutes mech game against Saxwi. Uh, I talked about that one already, and um, so then he got Balin busted. Then he played against Super, and he, he actually played a couple of cool games against Super as well, including an eleven eleven Rax, which actually worked. So that's pretty nice. Alright, so, gas first for both players here, as we would pretty much expect, and this is why we're not going to take a break to uh, talk about anything other than the game, because right from the get-go, we're going to be seeing some aggression out of both of these players, most likely. Um, you know, I think TVT is one is the matchup still where there's the most versatility in builds, because there's so many ways you can open. Um, and I mean, even if you have gas first versus gas first, there's so many different outcomes from this. Um, you know, you can see Banshee play, you can see mine drops, you can see fast Hellion drops, you can see people players go up to two gases or stay on one gas um, to try and get an expansion a little bit faster, for example. Uh, you know, there's so many options, that, you know, there's just a Raven Viking opening as well with tanks, uh, which can lead into a drop. You know, there's so many different ways you can open in this matchup, it's kind of... Um, it's kind of crazy, and it, I feel it, so it really makes it really fun to watch. It's probably one of, I think, you know, I'm a Terran player, so I'm very biased, but behind uh, TVZ, I definitely think TVT is probably my favorite matchup. I mean, the, the mid, you know, everything about it's great. The early game's exciting, the early, you know, the mid game's pretty fun. Um, you know, watching people doom drop each other all day long, how can you not love watching players literally just die of frustration? I don't know. So, um... So yeah, am I from Newcastle? Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, I love that tweet. So uh, Crank just posted on Twitter as uh, both players taking the second gas here, um, and it's a gas first Reaper out of Supernova. Um, <laughs> Crank just tweeted that um, Impact is doing the dishes because he lost in the team league, and uh, there's a photo as well. Man, <laughs> that's actually pretty funny. <laughs> Oh dear, you know you gotta love Axiom. Right? How could you? How can you not love Axiom? Second Reaper on the way for Supernova, by the way. Very interesting. Uh, how can you not love Axiom? They're such a great team with uh, so much kind of, you know, just so much interaction with everyone. They all stream. Well, a lot of them stream. And there's always, uh, you know, there's always fun things coming out of the Axiom house. This Reaper gonna scout in the top left here to begin with, and. Um, We've got Cloak coming up here immediately for hard, so straight into his Banshee play. Um, pretty much the same build as he just did against um, Iagos, if I'm not mistaken. Um, if not very similar. Um, I mean, it's just a Cloak Banshee opening, so I mean, it, it can only be so different, I guess. Um, a Hellion and a Reaper coming across here, and again, there's that second Reaper coming across the map, and um, another Hellion as well. Uh, okay, a Marine. So another Hellion and a Marine. So, Supernova really looking to put on some aggression very early on now. I'm not sure if he can go up the ramp, especially with Marines uh, up there. Although with them clumped up a little bit like that, they definitely could maybe do a little bit of damage. And here we go. The first Hellion shot isn't actually that great, but the Reapers will be able to break their way up. And uh, this Hellion will go down, lifts the uh, wall at the front top. So if he didn't have a wall right now, he'd be in a lot of trouble. Although that being said, we do have that uh, Banshee on the way. That Hellion's been forced to turn around. And uh, this uh, Reapers will actually, one of them will go down. Banshee gets a shot off on the next Reaper as well. And uh, this Hellion from Hard, which was actually out on the map scouting, um, but didn't get very far, has, um, is going to actually make it away. So he, he gets away with that. A Raven on the way to follow this up. And, um, I mean, the good thing about this for Supernova is he's already scouted the incoming Banshee. Sorts up a Raven of his own, so he doesn't really have to invest in turrets here. And uh, just blows a Widow Mine. I'm pretty sure. Does he have another Widow Mine out? Because I already heard one burrowing. No. So it's just that one Widow Mine here. And um, Banshee is going to move towards the natural where that expansion is being built for Supernova. Um, there's not really much of a anti air though. Um, so this mine kind of needs to get into position very quickly. This Banshee is moving forward. Okay, actually, the, sorry, there is a Viking out. Um, oh, goodbye. No, he avoids the mine. Ooh, wow. Okay, I thought it was in range there. So I thought Hart was about to lose the Banshee. Not quite, though. As uh, this Reaper is going to move through to the middle. He should be able to take on this Hellion with uh, the low hit points it's on, but not if it runs straight by, of course. Um, could 
But uh, it's going to turn around. It's still actually going to be close. I actually think, yeah. Well, Hellion can, of course, kite. I'm going to lose this uh, line of sight blocker, maybe. Okay, he's just going to keep on running. Uh, Reaper will turn around, and he's going to try and get in here to go for a bit of a scout of his own. Hard going up to three command centers very quickly. And um, Banshee been taken down, has it? No. Where's Banshee gone? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's alright. It was over here. Um, so Banshee not picking off uh, anything here, really. And just three command centers for Hard. So just feeling as though he wants to get a nice, strong economy in this game. And he feels as though he's going to be able to just defend pretty, you know, you know, pretty easily as well. I mean, he's got the Banshee for a bit of map control. Um, Supernova here with Hellions and adding on a second factory, so we're going to see a little bit of mech versus bio. As uh, Hot again with the first tank, he's pretty safe to go up to three command centers. There's not much that can kill him uh, based on the way that Supernova's opened. I don't think, I think the most dangerous thing right now is probably a drop in the main base. And I mean, you know, is, is building the third command center really going to help him against a drop? It's not like his extra production would be up by now anyways, so I think he's pretty much okay. Um... I mean, I mean, we know he's okay, so third command center will pay off for him here. And uh, that's, again, nice because he's playing against mech, so uh, generally you do want to try and get a little bit of an economic lead here early on. Um, it's kind of like TVP and the mech player is the Protoss, you know, as the bio player or the Terran, you want to be expanding faster, you want to keep on building up a bit of a, you know, a, a stronger economy than your opponent because you don't have as good of a, um, you no, know, because you're, um, because you're not going to trade as well. So you want to have a bit of a better economy and expand faster. So that you can afford to trade a little bit worse. And then slowly actually kind of suddenly try and out-tech your opponent. Maybe with a sky transition for example. Um, Stim and plus one on the way then for Heart. As we see Infernal Preigniter start up for Supernova. Just some Hellions and Tanks being made for now. He's got a Reactor on that uh, starboard as well. So he'll be probably just looking to um, pick off some... Um, you'll just be looking to keep a, a certain air control here. Which is going to be important as well. Not only to shut down drops... Just in general, um, you know, make sure he's not going to get, uh, well, dropped upon. So I guess still kind of drops in some sense of the word. As uh, Banshee's actually just going to come in and scout. So Banshee and Pronos is pretty much dead already. And uh, he will die now. But I guess the scout off confirms that it's going to be mech play out of his opponent. If he didn't kind of guess it already from the Hellions, which are at the front of the base. And, um, yeah, again, I mean, he's actually going to start up a couple of Marauders now. He's already got a couple out. And he's got this Raven as well, um, which is not going to do very much. But, um... You know, how useful is a Raven against uh, Mech? Well, not useful at all, really. I guess he can add a couple of auto turrets down. Uh, he could even maybe go harass with it in one of the mineral lines at some point if he uh, feels like doing something a little bit inventive. A few Hellions are going to sit on this right-hand tower. And uh, they're going to move forward a little bit as well. Just trying to check to see no third base has been landed way too early here. There's a mine on top of this ramp, so uh, Supernova, if he runs up there, his uh, Hellion drivers will be getting a little bit of a shock. Oh, he's been sent to sac be sacrificed. Oh. A sad day for the Hellion driver. I mean, I don't think these guys care. Um, but man, kind of sucks to be the one sent up there, blown up. Never heard of again. Third command center on the way here for Supernova. And I mean, this is a pretty much an okay time. I mean, he's actually ahead in SCVs despite Hard having a very quick free command center. So that's a little bit of a surprise there. This uh, tank here is um, just sitting in the main base. We've got a, a, a group of units here which are going to be ready to pick up. And uh, move across the map very soon, I think, in the form of a drop. If he wants to go for a drop, that is. Um, you know, at the same time, he might not uh, want to drop at all. He might just be sitting here in case there's uh, some kind of drop coming his way. Are these units all stuck here? Wow, that was some weird pathing, man. Uh, but he's going to take down these rocks. He's going to move towards his own third base now. Um, wow, Supernova continuing to build up this Viking count. Look at this. Eight Vikings and a Raven. I mean, if that's not air control, I don't know what is. As uh, he's also getting ready to take his third base. So it's going to be a different couple of third bases here. So uh, Hart's going to take kind of the pocket expansion and kind of expand in the triangle. Whereas um, Supernova's actually going to expand here. And, mm, I, I don't know. I, I kind of feel like as a mech player, I kind of, I kind of like this expansion a little bit more. Um, because then you just kind of sit in a line. I guess at the same time, you kind of just sit in a line here. But if you sit in a line here, it's much easier for your Vikings to come from here to here than it is for your Vikings to come from here to over here if they do need to defend. So... Kind of interesting. Um, see how it plays out. Uh, so we do have a big army for hard moving across the map. Uh, tank sieged up though, and uh, plenty hellbats too. Um, hard might just put on a little bit of a soft contain here. Oh, he's got a secret missile coming in. Oh, but the pickup is gonna be good. Uh, but at the same time, he's gonna start moving up here. He needs to resiege these tanks. And um, well, his Vikings are actually in a little bit of trouble. And well, you know, actually just forcing the unsiege on the tanks is actually just gonna win him this game. Look at that, just stim straight up, and Supernova's just gonna completely die. GG. Wow. Hot. 2-1 for Axiom Acer. Just like that.